Hello, Year 9 pupils, parents and carers. I hope you've had a chance to watch Mrs Dean's introductory video. This one should explain how the options process works here at Tembury High. All pupils will study a core curriculum of English, Maths and Science, the compulsory subjects. All pupils will study English language. The majority will also study English literature too, gaining two GCSEs. Pupils also study maths and science. Science will be triple science, which will be separate GCSEs for biology, chemistry and physics, or a double award, two GCSEs for a combined science. In addition, pupils will have core PE lessons as part of a healthy, active lifestyle, and also study modern studies, the compulsory elements of RE, PSHE and citizenship. Pupils also pick four option subjects a chance to specialise in a subject they enjoy, grouped by family on this slide. Pupils can pick a humanities subject, such as geography and history, a language such as French or German, computer science or business, a creative subject from design technology, art and design, music, catering and performing arts, and a health and fitness subject from PE and health and social care. The subjects with stars after them are GCSEs, and the subjects without stars are vocational subjects, and more on that difference in a moment. I've shared this slide with pupils. I think it's a good idea to share it with parents and carers as well. I suggest you advise your son or daughter to choose a subject that interests them and that fits their abilities. They are good at and will enjoy. It might link to a future career idea, and it might be a subject or related to a subject they'd like to study after year 11 at college or university. I would suggest you advise them not to pick subjects just because their friends have picked it, because they think it might be easy, because you like the teacher you have now, because that can all change. It's also a good idea not to think about subjects for boys and girls. Boys can pick health and social care, and girls make excellent engineers and should consider design technology too. The subjects with stars after them earlier were GCSEs. All GCSEs are graded one to nine, nine being high and one being the lowest grade awarded. Parents often ask how these number grades relate to letters. I've given us a rough conversion to the side. Colleges and employers are looking for standard grade passes, which is a grade four or better, or higher grade passes, a grade five or better. English, maths, science, geography, history, languages and computer science are 100% exam taken at the end of year 11. And these subjects are called the baccalaureate subjects, for the English baccalaureate. More on that in a bit. Business is also 100% exam, although not a baccalaureate subject, along with design technology, music and art. These retain elements of controlled assessment, project work, to account for between 25 and 60% of the final grade. All of our option subjects are vocational. PE, catering, health and social care and performing arts are not GCSEs, but are vocational qualifications which most colleges accept as equivalent to one GCSE. They are all practical qualifications with a high proportion of project work, coursework completed in school and only 25% exam. We recommend that people select no more than two of these subjects. It's worth noting that if you're interested in a very academic career, maybe in something like medicine, not all colleges and universities would welcome a vocational subject, so it's worth checking now if that's your career aspiration. Now we get to the tricky bit about options, the fact they're taught in pools to fit into a timetable. Imagine this situation for Year 10 in September. Monday Lesson 1 is English. All Year 10 have English at the same time. They'd be split into different English groups with different English teachers to have their subject. The same thing would happen for Year 2 for Maths. Lesson three on Monday is options. We can't offer all 13 options Monday period three. We wouldn't have enough teachers for the rest of the school. We can only offer a limited choice. We call that an option pool. Last year, option pool A comprised of French, German, design technology and history. And people had to pick one to study during this time. We were often asked, can I pick two subjects from this pool? The answer is no because they're on at the same time in the timetable. You can't be studying French Monday period three and design technology too. We're often asked, 
do I have to pick one from that pool? The answer is yes, because otherwise you'll have a gap in your timetable and no lesson to go to when all the other pupils go to class. This is what option pools look like in practice. These are the pools for last year's year nine in 2020. Pupils had to pick one subject from pool A, one subject from pool B, one from pool C, and one from pool D, making four options in total. We do our best each year to design these pools that reflect the preferences that people give to us. We can't guarantee all pupils get their top four choices, but we do our very best. The government expects all pupils to study a broad and balanced curriculum at Key Stage 4. They call this Progress 8. These subjects include English, Maths and Science, the core, at least one subject from the baccalaureate list, Geography, History, French, German or Computer Science, and up to three other subjects. So from the four options available, at least one of them will be a baccalaureate subject, Geography, History, French, German, or computer science. Some pupils might like to study for the English Baccalaureate. You can achieve this if you study these five subjects and gain grade fours or better in each. That's English, Maths and Science, a Humanities subject from Geography or History, and the Language, French or German. If you're thinking about A-levels and university beyond, the English Baccalaureate is a good idea because it keeps options open. If you're thinking about college, not university, you need five GCSEs to enrol in most level three courses. Level three course would be like A-levels. Of those five GCSEs, two would be English and maths with three other subjects, all with good passes, which would be grade fours or better. Some courses and some colleges might have higher requirements. The next steps. After digesting the information and videos in this website, and attending Year 9 Parents Evening where you can ask questions of teachers. We will ask pupils to fill in an online form and rank subjects in order of preference. This will not be their final option choices, but will allow us to create the pools. After creating the pools, we will share another form with pupils when they will pick one subject from each pool. This will be their final option choice. We hope to get this settled by Easter, with new timetables beginning in September. I hope this presentation explains how options will work at Tembury. If any questions remain, please use the online form on the website to ask them. Thank you.